say thank you to everybody that came out this morning on MLK Day, a day of service, really. So what is the Cullinan's location? Well, we want to put a community garden over here, the 10th Street Garden. Be something for the community to have access to quality food. This is a food desert, all right? There's no secret about that. There are no grocery stores in this neighborhood. We got the little convenience stores. Well, as far as getting vegetables and good food to eat, uh, we don't have none of that over here. We need our kids and our residents over here to have it. We need them to know what it feels like and looks like to grow your own food and to take care of yourself. If the city's not going to do it for us, then we have to do it for ourselves. If none of us live over here and we're building a community garden and we didn't ask anyone from the community, that's, uh, I think the term might be co opting is that right? All right, we don't want to do that. So we want to make sure that we have their uh, permission or at least their consent to be a part of this because we want everyone to feel inclusive. The people of this community are proud. Doesn't look like it everywhere, but you know, they take pride in where they come from. And so they may not have much, but they take good care of it. It's a lot of older people over here uh, that don't have cars and they walk a lot. So this would be one of the perfect deals for them. Oh, you got a B. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never done this before, so that's why I have my good friend Clarice here. She's also from Oak Cliff. This is something that she does. Getting your hands in the soil, planting that seed, and watching that seed turn into a plant is the best feeling in the world. You don't get anything better than up close, hands-on experience. It's good to just get everybody out here. People are driving by, honking, and they get out, walk around, start doing some stuff too. We have kids from Tag Magnet. We have kids from South Oak Cliff Early Collegiate Academy. We have people from the community. We got volunteers that are coming from Four Oak Cliff. We have some people from Facebook. And I also want to introduce my mother, Kim Tom. My father purchased this property and some other properties in this area. He was a visionary type person. He would be very impressed and pleased to see this happening. It would be crazy of me to sit on this land and not do anything with it. Mr. Torrance right here, uh, he would be a person that would be a good point of contact because he's good at giving out orders. So uh, <laughs> We was tearing down bushes a day and there was some vines, real small vines. But if they're all together, it becomes a bond. I'm just thankful and blessed right now uh, to be able to work with such beautiful people, man. Like, people really out here to work. Um, not to meet a celebrity, not to meet an influential person, but out here to really help this community out, and I'm just thankful. Oh, three, four, oh, clip. One, right, two, go. three, four, oh, So we did this for the people in this neighborhood, and we did it for ourselves as well. Uh, I'm sure that everyone learned something new today. You met someone new, and you probably were inspired. So this lot is a lot of opportunity. And if you do things together, you can have something together. Today, we got the cameras, we got special guests, but we got to finish it. You know, we got to be sustainable. We identify that it's a problem. What are we going to do to fix it? So if everyone is doing a part consistently and is sustaining it over a period of time, this community will rise again. Really cleaned up a lot. Yeah, bro. But just imagine next year, this time what this is gonna be like, bro. We're gonna have the beds out. We're gonna put bees out here and everything, bro. Bees? Bees. We're gonna make Oak Cliff honey. <laughs> if bees go extinct, the human population will be done in 10 years. Did you know that? I don't know how true it is, but somebody told us. Well, we to. need to go get some bees. <laughs> Let's see if Mark got a plug on bees. <laughs>